Now, the management, or rather, Eldred City will now join the League of Other Cities in the country, becoming the fifth to attain that status. President William Ruto, while handing over the charter in Eldred, said the new city will now have to be relook, uh, will now have to relook into its roads and other infrastructure to attract investment and enable the locals enjoy city standards. Stephen Leto reports. <laughs> and color decorated the handing of the charter to the Eldoret city. Though the ceremony was largely legal and led by head of public service Felix Koske and solicitor general Shadrach Mose, the excitement was palpable. The height of the event being the presidential proclamation of the new city. I, Kiptirchir, William Samoei Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of Kenya's Defense Forces do hereby ordain, declare, and direct that the municipality of Eldred has been conferred with city status. The Eldoret Municipal Board initiated the process of elevating Eldoret to a city status, a process that ended up in the Senate, with the Senate Committee on Devolution and Intergovernmental Relations giving the push a clean bill of health. The committee said the town meets the criteria set out in Section 5 of the Urban Areas and Cities Act 2011. Under the revised Act, an urban establishment requires to meet a threshold of 250,000 people in population, a criteria which the new city met with the statistics from the Kenya National Bureau of Standards showing Eldoret urban population stood at 475,716 people. Eldoret was ranked as the fifth most populous urban areas after Nairobi, Nakuru, Mombasa and Roiru. <laughs> Now being a city, Eldoret will be required to sustain the status by sourcing of its own revenue, a requirement it has always met for being the county with the highest collection 990 million shillings in 2023. Eldoret City will now benefit from equitable funding to cities to finance critical infrastructure such as roads, sewerage and airports. It will also be placed under a long-term sustainable economic growth and will be collaborating with other cities in the world on development, mainly through enhanced public-private partnerships. It's an emotional moment for me. Uh, I rarely do this, but this is home. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV. All right, and just before we begin our conversation with the panelists that are already here in studio, let's just walk through uh, the process of a municipality becoming a city. And we start by looking at the decision that would have to be taken by a municipality board, which has to uh, pass the resolution on what should happen uh, by determining that uh, indeed it has become a city. Um, after that, that is referred to the committee or the county executive committee um, that uh, considers the decision of the board. After that, uh, the county governor, if the CEC, that is the cabinet of the county, has approved, the county governor informs and for, forms a, an ad hoc team uh, to check whether uh, the municipality meet, meets the criteria for becoming a city. If the answer is yes, then the governor will transmit that decision to the county assembly. Uh, then the county assembly will consider and if it agrees, the county assembly clerk refers that matter to the Senate. The Senate clerk then, once the Senate has decided that indeed it meets the pre-qualification uh, considerations, uh, then writes to the president for confirmation of the city status. And today we've seen the president of the republic um, conferring that status on the city. So with us this evening, we have